Digga 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 dig. Cool. Digga 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 dig. Oh yeah. Digga 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 digga. I want a munch squad. Just kidding. Oh. Oh. What? It's April Fool's Day spectacular here on Munch Squad. Oh. That's that was my. So we are going to do a Munch Squad then. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. No, I'm just confused wherein lies the... Where the prank is, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, I'm kind of going with the vibe this year uh, of not really understanding how... <laughs> <laughs> April Fool's Day. I'm loving that. That's a cool vibe, man. Yeah, it's a good vibe. Surfing, Let's talk baby. about um, Krispy Kreme. Back okay. at it again? Pumpkin Spice. I can't wait to see what they get into. Pumpkin, no. Pumpkin Spice, it's back. Okay. You can fall... For this one, <laughs> shit. Okay, the falls in scare quotes. I think scary, scary quotes. <laughs> scare quotes. You can <laughs> you can fall ah! for this one because it's not a joke. <laughs> Krispy Kreme is spicing up April Fool's Day by returning its fall favorite pumpkin spice. Fuck yeah, that's Donuts. good. That's a good joke. I like that. It is a good joke. It's a good joke. It's a great goof. <laughs> it's a good gag for two to <laughs> April first to the second. They're kicking off pumpkin spice season. It's pumpkin what? spice season, says the quote. Hurry in for our pumpkin spice original glazed donut Krispy Kreme. Kidding, not kidding, says you know him on and I love him. It's Dave Skenna. No. It just seems like a weird time of year to put out a pumpkin spice donut, but okay, yeah, I'll go get one. Yeah, that's real. I'm right, really looking forward to it because I like pumpkin spice, so I'm really excited. I do too. Yeah, they what day is this... it available? When can I go get it? April 1st and 2nd. And guys, it's not a joke. You can really do this. It's yeah. just funny. It is funny. And it's I, funny. They, I imagine you're dealing with some pretty skunked, like pumpkin spice flavoring. If they yeah, have, they had to turn on the pumpkin, <laughs> the pumpkin spice. Machine. And they really, you're really supposed to let the pumpkin spice machine run for like 48 hours before you use it because there's like a burning. It has to yeah. burn off all you gotta the. Get all the tar. Tar. <laughs> yeah, there's gonna off. be a lot of there's gonna be a lot of cruft in the first couple yeah. donuts there. So be careful. Yeah. Yeah, you don't eat the first. You don't eat the dozen. first cut. The sediment on those first couple donuts oh, is really boy. bad. Oh boy, that's some tooth breaking cruft right there. That's guys. some bad cruft. They, they, yeah, I heard they feed them to dogs that they want to make angry. Yeah, oh, yeah, sure. yeah, yeah. They want to raise up mean pups. They want to raise um, mean pups with stronger bite force. To, let's go over the doghouse. I love that place, man. I can get from doghouse all the time, and now it's even better this month because they're uh, they're creating uh, as part of their absolute worst series um calling all sausage and pizza fans this is not an april fool's joke doghouse Wurstmeister adam gertler has done the unthinkable yet again and created a new legendary creation for the absolute worst sausage series the pepperoni pizza sausage all right mm. it's not an april fool's joke it clarifies here it's a sausage that's about pizza wait yeah. what? so it's got like pizza stuff in it it's sausage about pizza, so it's got um, it's a delicious link packed with pepperoni, good mozzarella, uh. tomato, and oregano, and blended perfectly with traditional pork and fennel Italian sausage. Okay, so Oof. it's so it's a it's a pizza pepperoni sausage, pepperoni pizza sausage, man. That, they're doing you it. don't. That seems like a lot of wet for a sausage friend. Yeah, I don't see who's yeah. bringing structure to that party. The absolute worst sausage series has already exceeded our expectations, and I'm excited to keep it going by introducing this new twist on an Italian classic. Since pizza is one of America's favorite foods, this one's sure to be a huge hit. I can't wait to share this sausage with Doghouse fans in April. No okay. fooling. No uh, jokes. Now, here's one thing that I think is interesting about this series. Yeah, the absolute awesome. worst series. They, it says here, each Doghouse location will receive approximately 200 of them. That doesn't seem like very many. That's not, yeah, it's it not does a lot. It doesn't, right? It says sausage lovers are encouraged to buy them early and often. Well, yeah, well, that they often. will sell out. One person couldn't buy it 201 times. So are that's they not limiting very often. the number you can buy at once? Could I oh, roll up and buy? Because I feel like America loves pizza. They love sausage. You combine them. We're going to have a big, this is going to be That's a no that. brainer, like, man. Yeah. It's going to be a Szechuan sauce. All over. It's going to be Szechuan <laughs> all sauce. All over they, again. They, they should implement a waiting list system. My third favorite entry, and this is probably the one that I care the most about. Little Caesars gets out there. Did you guys see this? No, man. Little you see Caesars this? You hear about this? Out there 
you guys don't, you guys don't follow this stuff as closely. Lil Caesars gets out there in on March 22nd and says, "Hey, we're bringing back the crust that you crave." Okay. Okay. So that and everyone's like, "Hell yeah, pretzel crust is back." And they do an ad where they're showing all these screen caps of people demanding that pretzel crust is back. Uh-huh. And they're like, "America, we hear you. We've got the crust you crave. It's corn cob crust and it's what? here." <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> they announced it, but here's the thing, guys. They announced in mid March that corn cob crust is finally coming. Huh? Is but and, and they did it in mid March, right? Yeah, sure. And then in March twenty seventh, they said, "Just kidding. We're not doing that. Pretzel crust is coming back." F- oh know. my uh, god! Slam dunk. But it's guys, that was in late March. <laughs> you missed the, You didn't even have the strength, the strength of your convictions to make it through to April first, the day that this kind of shenanigans is supposed to occur. Now, Justin, what this is, what we're looking at here is the Christmas creep version of April Fools, where it's just like, yeah, listen, it's gonna be the market's gonna be flooded with April Fools on April Fools. We got to get in there early, and then we need to get out early so we're not just associated with all the other losers. So we need to start mid March and get out pretty soon. We will be April fooling before Christmas. Yeah. Um, I did also want to. I want to give one more uh, bit of credit to uh, Little Caesars um, on. March sixteenth, they tweeted a picture of a little of Little Caesar's mascot, just giving it a thumbs up and saying that he's fine. Oh, good. wait! On March sixteenth. The- oh, I get it. Yeah, it was pretty good. That's I funny. got a little chuckle out. I do. Like, man, funny. they're funny over there. It's funny over there. They're having man, fun, guys. I have bad news though. Oh no! I looked at the pretzel crust pizza for more than thirty seconds and now can't think about literally anything else. Hell yeah! Little dude. Caesars is one of. The, I don't willingly seek out little caesars but i feel like sometimes it gets in my like an earworm yes. but for your belly yes. we're like i actually have to have little caesars i'm gonna lose it do you still have little caesars up in dc griffin no i really? mean it's not not within like a five mile radius of, of my house um sadly i know i wanted to get some for my for the fucking byop pizza party we did that that was yeah i i had thought about that i Man, I do love a little. But season. now, now it's all I can think about is little C's.